People keep a blind eye. God don't do that. God will be looking at you. Say, this is a criminal. What will I do? Okay, let me give him cancer of the lungs. He will give it to you. As a preacher, you will be driven. And Amen. people will come in to speak in tongues. Speak in tongues, my foot. Amen. Okay, that is what makes me to enter into trouble in this country. I went to one church in Korea, somewhere there. And I finished preaching. They, they found that there was bedridden. They take me to his house to go and pray for him. And he didn't buy my ticket. So I have to tell you what God said. They bring me to see what is your problem. And I come to you and I tell you what your problem is. Yeah. And that is my problem. So I could have come. Then why do you bring a prophet? Yes. Unless you have not seen prophets. Yeah. We have prophets, we have seers. We have word of knowledge, word from knowledge. Guys, I'm not here to talk about that. Then I finish. Because I'm about to have a citywide crusade there in the stadium. With all the churches. This man pick up his phone after I finish and call uh, uh, this open Bible. And called Open Bible and talked a lot of things against me. Open Bible, back off, because it's one of the Pentecostal, whatever. Open Bible, back off. A lot of them, that is why I carried the crusade to Pastor Coffee's church. That is why I carried it. And you know, you know the thing about it? Pastor Coffee take a night, 80,000 TT. For three days, you know how much it is? And they need the cash. And I dropped the cash. But before the meeting finished, the man returned back the money. And said, I've never seen God like this before. Amen. No, 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 I can't take money. Taking money from you is against what I believe. Amen. He gave me back the money. Cash. He's there. You can go and ask him. I'm not doing somebody here. Yes. Really good. If doing good is in your nature, you just do good. Yes. Now, the man said, what is my problem? I told him what the problem is. And the things he's doing, that is... Now, because I reveal it to you, you say I'm a witch from Africa. So had it been I just come and speak in tongues, Rubens, it is well with you. Then when I go, you say that man, they say it's a prophet, he doesn't even see anything. I feel like talking here. Let do it good, just be natural, let it be part of you. Just do good. Just do good, just do good. It doesn't take anything for you to be good. Just do good. Amen. And listen, not doing good, talking good in your mouth, when your heart is bitter. Yes. No, just let it just flow. Can I hear someone say, let it flow? Let it flow. So God always do good to them that are good. So if you are not upright, if you are not good, forget good. Amen. There are some certain people and benefits that will not come to you. Are you not working in the companies and everywhere? Yes. If you are a soldier and your supervisor, feel that you are not good. Will he recommend you? No. It's only when you feel you are good. Then he recommends you Amen. for promotion. Amen. The same thing about God. When God knows you are good, he bless you in front of your enemies. After this meeting, seven of you will have what I call divine recommendation. Amen. Can I just say I receive that one? I receive that one. The final one before I bring the man of God, point number five, as such, as for such that turn from their crooked ways, the law shall let them forth with the workers of iniquity, but peace shall be upon the house of Itode Iloe. If you put your house name, you will receive peace. Amen. Can I ask you, I hear you? I hear you. So the last thing God will do when you, when you trust him is to give you peace. Amen. Amen. You can sleep comfortably. Amen. You can even leave your house open and you are here. When people enter there to rob, they will be sleeping until you come. Amen. 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 <laughs> I was preaching in Gabon, in a country they call Gabon in Africa. The place is like a bad area. Um, I we just reached there, and because we're driving late, so we left the car, and the car was open. We didn't lock it. So, and the keys in the ignition, the worst, we enter the church. And it's a francophone country. I'm already preaching, and I don't know, even my interpreter, when I was telling him to send somebody to the car to go and uh, lock it, I don't know what he interpreted. <laughs> I don't know what the guy interpreted, so I was thinking the guy's locked. 
But finally, when the meeting finished, then I can preach very long. I can start like five o'clock in the morning, in the evening, and, and dismiss you five or four o'clock in the, the next day. Yeah, I can do that. And it's only when I tell you it is late, you will know it's late. If I don't tell you, you'll be even if you are traveling to Palaseco and Point, you will not know you are going home. Amen. Oh, no, 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 no. no. If you want to ask people. <laughs> but it's not how long you preach that matters, it's how connected Amen. people are. Now, when we finish and come back to the car, three boys we are sleeping in the car. They have already entered the car, start the car, and they sleep. And when we finally come back, my God, boy, oh boy, these people are sleeping deep. They can't wake up. So finally, they try to wake them up. They are not waking up. They have to call the police to come and take them. They were still sleeping as the police carried them. <laughs> Instead of people to glorify God in that city, they say, I call with Obia to make criminals sleep in the car. How did I come with Obia? When God gives you peace, He protects the person around you. Yeah. Am I talking to everybody here? Yeah. God is about to give somebody peace. Yeah. Let me give you the last one testimony that we have been sharing this testimony. I feel like sharing it once again. What I'm talking about, peace, peace is peace. Amen. When God gives you, He protects you. Amen. I traveled to, uh, I think to my brother, not, not to, what did they call this? Gibraltar, close to Spain. I traveled there to have a meeting, and before you know it, I was there for three days. My neighbor called me and said to me, what is going on, are you packing out? I said, no, he said, he said for, no, I spent five days. He said for the past five days, people are packing things out of your house. They have loaded their van, and they are still there, so I was like, I don't know. So I quickly rush back to Nigeria and drive down to the house. These guys have AK-47. They pack everything in the house, but they made a mistake. They went where my altar is, and they see some nice red wine, yes. communion wine. Yes. And they drink the communion wine, and they lost it all. All they are doing in the morning, they sweep after they eat. After they finish eating, they start sweeping again. After they sleep, just like that, they were eating. So before I come back, all my food finish. And when I come, they were greeting me. I said, how are you guys? So I have some police people in the church that follow me. They say, we are arresting them. I said, no, no, no. First of all, you have been in my house for six days now. So you lodge here for six days, no problem. Uh, as, as the rest is taken back, the thing where you people collect it from. The accommodation fee here, per night, I charged them. That time, it was like 2003. So I charged them to 2,000 US dollar there. So, and I say, you have the money, so you go to bank, bring the cash, then you can come and Take your car, go there, the police people will take the AK 47s, and you, you should just go. And they went to bank, they cash the money, and I take it because they lodge in my house. <laughs> my food, everything, I charge it together. And they pay for the wine also. And they offload everything and take it back in their house. If you go on Google and Google it, you will see what I'm telling you. They take it back in the house. And the police take all the gun and say, we're arresting them. I say, were you the one that arrested them in the house before? <laughs> Leave them to go. Yeah. But the gun, take their gun. These people left. Do you know that all of my fellow pastors, they come to me and say, I know that this is not empty. And I know that something, give me the thing you buried in your house. Let me bury it too. Hey. <laughs> they think that I have up here in the house. Hey. The hell these people here. No, no, no. When you are good, God protects you. Amen. I feel like talking to somebody here. Yes. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you are looking for. But if I be a man of God, who I know I am, yes. in the next 72 hours, Amen. somebody hearing this, hand up my voice. 
Your family will be protected. Amen. Your business will be protected. Amen. Your business about you will be protected. Amen. Am I talking to somebody here? Amen. Lift your hand and say, I am protected. I am protected. Don't you will be protected. You can't be thinking that I'm robbers to take any of your things. I'm sharing Amen. testimonies of Africa. Amen. Let me share testimony here. Amen. And when we are in Charlie View, Mommy Judy finished and dropped her phone there. Somebody stole it. And I tell them, forget it. This church, if you steal anything, you are bringing it back. Do you know? I give them, how many days did I give you? One week? I say, in one week, if you don't bring the phone, you will be walking from your house and holding the phone in the hand. Before the one week, yeah. they put it inside envelope yeah. as if it's offering yeah. and drop it when they are dropping tight. Amen. So good. And they have a written note. Yeah. What was the written note? You people want to kill me. You people want to kill me because of four. So because there are spirit tormenting in whatever place he is. So he has to return the phone back. Nobody will take what belongs to you. Amen. Lift your hand and say, My father, my maker. My father, my maker. Bless my life. Bless my life. Even when we're here, somebody finish your donation and keep her mantle here. Yes. Hey. Somebody steal it. Yes. Stole it. Yes. Thief it. Yes. So they defeat it. I say, if you don't return it, what you see is what you get. Amen. And somebody said, it's not a threat because I know the forces that is with me, unless I don't want to help you. Yes. Unless I just don't want to help you. Or unless I'm thinking, if I help you, you will misunderstand me. Yes. I'll leave you. Yes. But if I know that if I help you, you really need the help, yes. then I will help you. Amen. There are some people that, if you help them, they are parrots. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. It just, I was talking to some people. I said, listen, if you have a...